Hello YouTube, my name is Paul, hope you're all keeping well. I'm back today then with another Spotlight video. This time the game in question was one that never got released back in the day. It was supposed to have come out in 1994. I remember it being reviewed in magazines. I even had a demo disc, along with many other people I guess, of the game. Uh, a game disc that I've still got today. I remember getting the disc because I remember playing it to death. So I thought the game was absolutely fantastic. So when I heard that System 3 were actually developing the game for the PS4 and there was actually a downloadable copy for the Amiga, I was absolutely overjoyed. And then I come across a forum and somewhere it said that it was actually a physical copy released via a Kickstarter project on the Commodore Amiga, on the 1200, so I was absolutely amazed. So yeah, I missed out on the Kickstarter unfortunately, but the game itself was available to buy via eBay, so that's the only place you can get it. So I got myself a copy for about 100 quid, which looking back now is probably a bit expensive. I've only ever seen two copies come up. Apparently only 100 copies were made and 50 of those were signed by the developer. Unfortunately the one I have isn't signed by the developer. Um, so yeah, I've got it second hand so I didn't get it via the Kickstarter like I just said. So the game was repackaged as if, as if it was about to be properly released um, to the shops. So I'll show you the sleeve. The game comes boxed with a sleeve. So excuse the glare because the lighting in this room isn't quite ideal for, for this sort of thing. but. When you actually look at the, the artwork, it looks absolutely fantastic and as it would probably have looked on release in 1994. So yeah, absolutely stunning. I do need to get myself some box protectors. I know Cine Steve has kind of mentioned uh, a place to get them fr uh, from, but I just need to pull my finger out and uh, get them. Excuse my face in the picture, but yeah. So that was the sleeve. The artwork was absolutely spot on. The internal box though is an absolute beast to open absolutely hardcore material this is nothing like it was back in the day it literally is rock solid so a bit afraid to open it in case I break the box but inside the box you get what you would have expected to get in the box back in the day floppy disks two of them which I've actually used just the once just to make sure everything was okay um, you get a poster it looks like an A4 poster of the artwork from the box absolutely fantastic and obviously a manual. So the manual is only in English. It's a very small manual, just literally the gameplay in there and also some hints and tips because the game can get quite hard as you progress. So yeah, really chuffed to have it in the collection. It truly is a collectible piece because there's so few actually released of a game that never actually got a release in the first place. So I'm really chuffed to bits to have it to be honest. As per usual there will be some gameplay footage. I'll do a little conclusion at the end of it of my thoughts and feelings of the game. Um, so yeah, so thank you for watching this part and I'll see you in the game. So yeah, it took absolutely ages for them to finally release this game. I thought they never would do it myself. So it was an absolute pleasant surprise when they actually announced they were actually releasing the ADF files for us to play. So, like I said, I played the game for absolutely hours on end on the uh, demo disc. So it was chuffed the bits when it actually came out to play the whole game. Um, like I said, I think I bought it around the same time as my PS4 version. Um, so yeah, really, really chuffed. Games on two discs, takes a little bit of time to load, but like I said before, it is an Amiga 1200 and 4000 game, so those two megs of RAM are definitely being well used. Now, the title screen is pretty box standard. Right, so here we are, the option screen, and like I said, it's very basic. You go into options, you've got music and sound effects, and I'd like to have them both on, to be honest, because the sound and music are really good. For some reason, the, intro the introduction music, or level one music, reminds me a little bit of um, Casualty. Obviously, you've got the sound on, it will overlap some of the music channels, so your choice, really. Start game, here we go, level one. So, pretty much a bog standard sort of heads up display, really. Three lives, no stars collected so far, five missing in action uh, parties to collect. You can see one just below me there. Looks just like me, but red. Uh, use, I think it's your special powers. When you get them, they go inside that box. And you've got five energy bars, or in this case, five energy circles, which do deplete quite rapidly. But luckily, there's plenty of supplies to keep you going. 
first enemy you come across then is this blinking frog which will kill you instantly if you let him hit you with that tongue of his. So just jump over him, power that scrolling in the background is nice, background graphics in fact are lovely to be honest. Animation on the main character is really good, very similar to what the original pipe was like to be honest. This cat character here is actually someone who's, who helps you along the way, obviously you can jump off his Christmas uh, stomach there, as you can see, without him you can't do that, he'll punch the enemy, jump on their heads. Like I said, there's different ooh, different levels of enemy. Some are a lot harder than others. So, for example, I can't just punch the frog's lights out because he's a bit tougher than those little dogs. Like that is a little time time like a little warp device, which takes you to part of the level you cannot normally reach otherwise. Obviously, level one it's pretty obvious, obviously in your face, but later levels it's a bit more difficult to find them. Typical platformer because it's got bloody platforms in it. The controls are generally very, uh, very responsive. To be honest, that's our first party. I see you can go up and down like that. We go across like that as well. I say controls are quite similar to the original party if you've ever played it before. But for those of us who haven't played it before, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Jump on these characters' heads, punch them across the platform, and hope they knock more other uh, enemies off, but in that case it didn't quite work. They might have done actually, because he's gone. Right. Another one. That's two MIAs got now. There's a crate there with supplies in it. It's a bit of food. Special power there being the uh, putty pod. I would recommend you use it to clear through some of those more hardened enemies, like the frogs. But as you use this thing, you notice your energy is dropping, which I didn't know that until I played it today, to be honest. I was wondering why I died and I hadn't really put myself in harm's way, but I didn't realise your energy drops whilst using this bloody balloon. So get over to the other side of the screen quickly, because there is a bazooka touting dog somewhere which you want to clear off. I'm gonna find him in a minute. Try to run out of energy. Oh Christ, come on. A bit of inertia on this balloon as well as it kind of oh it's died. I didn't realise you can actually fall off the bottom of the screen with the balloon, but there you go. And when you die everything respawns which makes it a little bit more annoying because uh, your MIAs remain the same. Now, if you're squashed on the floor like that, the enemy cannot do you any damage, regardless if I have that shield or not. I'm going to do a Spencer Nitro Bomb here. Nitro. Boom, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Again, the shield isn't indefinite, it will go away. As you can see, it's disappearing. Not sure what the fork and sausage is all about, but that can kill you if you're not careful. Like that. Love the sound effects in this game, absolutely fantastic. Very comical. Lots of speech as well. Nice fat burger there, looking good. I thought I'd lose a bit of energy just so I can absorb that fat burger. Right, I can get off the level now. Doors are open. The burger first, shall we? Tasty. Right, here we go. And the level one. The game does deploy the old passcode um, routine, so obviously you write your passcode down if you want to continue from that location. Level 2 is much the same as level 1, as you'd expect, just slightly bigger gameplay area. That food there, if you don't use it up, will remain there for the duration, well, until you die, I think. So you can jump on their heads and usually punch them across the level, like so. And that will take out whatever's in its way. Bloody frogs. Yeah, there you go. One of those uh, time portals again, or travel portals. 
First MIA got. Massive star. Which don't give you stars, actually, it just gives you points. A lot of them. Alright, crate. Don't need any health. That chili there gives you a period of in invincibility, I think. Let's use it, shall we? Tough guy, hey. Tough guy, hey. Right, this is a special level in which you have to absorb these little dudes. Dog, is it? I don't know. There you go. Gives you five stars. Obviously, the aim of the level is to pick up as many stars as you can without dying. Oh, Christ. I'm not sure how you pick up things like bow and arrows and bombs. They just kind of appear, as you can see. I didn't pick anything up for that, to be honest. Bloody cat. Oh, man, what are you doing? Ah, oh, that was probably not a bad thing, actually, it did that, because I forgot all about him. Ah, oh, I've got the electric finger. Have it. Ah, oh, so the, the animation is really, really good on all the characters. Level design's really good. It's quite challenging at time, this game. Let's finger him in a minute. Let's him sort it out. Uh, if I call the cat, which I can't because I haven't got the actual special power to do that, I could have used him to jump up and get those stars. There he is. Let's fry the bitch. Not everything you can jump on, by the looks of it. I say it's been a while since I played this game. Actually, really disappointed when the demo ended. Literally, the level after this, I think, that's all you could do. This one, the previous level, the next one, yeah, that's correct. Right, let's go back. Now I've got the bombs, which are amazing because they are really helpful against every enemy there is. I wonder where these games got the idea of knocking star, like star blocks like that. And then bonuses came out of it. I think every platform game onwards kind of used them, didn't it, really? Oh, extra man! Yeah! Right, I need to go and find myself in one of those cat calling things. I need his belly again. Can't beat those bombs. Right. Need him. Let's go. I'm not usually a platforming kind of guy, really. I'm not. They don't really appeal to me that much. Very few do, and this is one of them. Right. So we need to call the cat. Pick up the old special power. In his belly. Up we go. Another, another MIA captures. Four left to get. Oh yeah. Alright, stretch up here a bit. Oh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happens when you go between bombs and bow and arrows. I've got no idea what causes that. two parties are. One of them I think is up the top there, top left of the map. Aha, it's one. Sod. Love how the little bombs have got legs, it's great. Those little rocket men that I just killed, you can actually absorb absorb them and turn into one. There we go. Watch this. 
Boom. It's got loads of li little, nice little touches like that, which kind of add character to the game. It's a really good game. Um, two left to get. I'm trying to figure out where they are in a second, because I can't remember. Here's one more. Oh, let's get some energy a minute. Christ, I realise it was that bad. You can stand there and get flipping killed. I said the enemies are quite well varied, to be honest. It's really good. <coughs> right, I've got to jump a few, across a few platforms and have to get to the other side a minute. Not usually very good at these bits. Ah, he's made it. Excellent. Last one. Just got to find the blinking door now. Ah, she is. Excellent. There we go. Level 2 complete. Bazaar Al Kebab. Awesome. You've got to be careful if you do die, you lose all your bombs and your bow and arrows and stuff, and just go back to using your fist. go. It's ten times harder now. Like I said, I think the only thing that doesn't respawn are the actual parties themselves, but every, everything else seems to respawn. Right, let's peg it. Instant death, these things are. Right. to hear. Oh, ha ha! I am terrible at platform games. Absolutely terrible. Not doing particularly well in this one. I find my patience runs a bit thin with these sorts of games. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, that's for that. Right, let's make it this time, I hope. Yeah, excellent. I do love the graphics in this game though, fantastic. Oh. Incidentally, I think this only came out on the SNES. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Super Nintendo only. I think it was published by Ocean Software as well, so. Oops. I can't kill that dude because I haven't got any uh, nitro bombs, so I'll just have to weather the storm a minute. Oh. Got some bloody accurate mortars he has, mate. Right, let's get out of the way a minute. Absorb you a minute. There we go. Ah. Have it. No, it didn't work. Crap. Plan Z. You sword. Get out of it. Oh my god, really? Really? I 
I'm going to die shortly, I think. Energy look. You twat. Um, hmm. He's pretty rock hard, actually. Right, back to square one again. Piss off. Oh, do I need my little cat friend to help me out here? Maybe. Get down. Oh. Try and call him again a minute. Yeah, kitty, kitty. Nope, okay then. Can't be asked to go up one platform, can you? Help me out. Oops. See Daisy. I don't think one is going to make this level. Excellent. Where's the last two then? Oh, he's still alive. Excellent. Can I make this level? I think this level's bloody hard. The next one's ridiculous. A bit of shieldage. Let's get out of here. That. Got one more party to get if I can find the little sword. Here he is. Excellent. The arrow's pointing down, but there's no flipping door. Great. Again, a lot of this game is patience. I'm not very patient when it comes to platformers, but you take your time, it's not so bad. I'll try and get a lease off of this level for you. I can find the bloody door. Nitro. 
Whoopee! Here we go. I should actually write this code down. Now, why would I need to do that if I'm recording it? Who's this dude on the balloon? When you can't blink in reach. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, it's just a DJ. Ah, hilarious. Brilliant. I'm seeing that on the PS4 version, but not on the Amiga version. It's those little touches that make the game really good, actually. Apart from it being a good game. It's hilarious. I was going to say it doesn't miss anything out from the PS4 version, but this one is the original version. About 20 years before it original. Right, it's called a cat. I can't call it a cat because I haven't got a special power. So, let's find an alternative route. Oh, there's a cat there. Look, excellent. This is one very tall level, I think, if I remember rightly. I'd love to see what the Super Nintendo version is like. It's pretty good. True. Piss off. Typical when you drop, you literally drop through all the holes there is possible to drop through, do you know what I mean? Bloody thing. to save. Be missing a little putty from somewhere then. Crap! Where is he? Let's go down. Base right at the bloody bottom. Hey, here he is. Oh, 
door to my left. I bet it's not to my bloody left though, is it? Nope, didn't think it would be. Those hands just randomly point anywhere in this game. Right. Nitro. Die. I can't call the cat. How the hell do I get up here? Typical. Right, she's you, you little git. Oh, don't that's it, that's the way. Hey. Palace of Baghdad. The hell's that helicopter? Impressive. Smiling bombs. Love it. I think you can kill the actual helicopter. It's a shame. Dad got me fist back. Alright. I don't hope hold out much hope for this bit. Go! Sure, what to do here? Ah, maybe this will help. Right, so I can't get that part because I'll get done in by that barbed wire. Ah, maybe the cat might help. Nope, the cat won't help. I need a uh, more than just a cat. Arrows are absolutely useless against anything, aren't they, really? Oh, behave yourself. Nitro. Nitro. Let's absorb this little thing again. Come on, sunshine. That's the way. Well, I'm not sure if I drop down now, I'll be dead, so I better not. Do it anyway. Whoa! Oh shit. Well, that's it for the game. See you for the final part, the conclusion. Well, thank you for bearing with me and watching me play that platformer. Like I said, I'm not really a platforming fan. Apart from probably Party Squad, Rainbow Islands, New Zealand story, there's not many other platformers I've really played and enjoyed, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I certainly would recommend the game. I certainly would recommend you getting yourself a PS4 version because it's equally as fun uh, and pretty similar to the Amiga one, to be honest. I couldn't believe how similar they were. Um, but there you are. So thank you for watching and thank you very much for subscribing. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.